Tommy Rowan. I get dizzy. Yeah. Well, I have a little gray hair now, but I used to be blonde, so I was a dizzy blonde is what I was. Yeah, well, anyway. Good morning. Good morning. We have our special guest in the studio, Shelly Williams from the White Lake Community Library. Welcome into your local radio station, my dear. Thank you very much. So... You have a lot on your plate with the uh, library, especially even today. What's happening? Well, we usually have a lot on our plate, but today we have at least five things going on. We start this morning with our toddler story time. Uh, that's for babies up to 36 months with their caregivers. Uh -huh. They meet at 9.30 and then again at 10.30, uh -huh. so they can take their pick. And then tonight our big event starts at five o'clock yeah we're going to be ribbon cutting and officially opening our newest meeting room the legacy room that's right what is that well we had a screened in porch it wasn't being used very much and so staff came to me and said we need another meeting room uh, that's because i kept double booking the big one is that right <laughs> yes okay. so many people wanted space for a meeting and so what, what what kind of meetings do they have uh, all kinds is that right some people want to bring programs in for uh, patrons uh -huh. some just want to meet as a group yeah. sometimes they're large sometimes they're small okay this is for the small groups okay so the ribbon cutting ceremony will be happening today from uh, five to six right that's right and uh, enjoy refreshments Can oh yes hot coffee hot chocolate well, we have hot coffee, and then we'll have punch. Ah, uh, okay. We gave up on the hot chocolate. <laughs> I think you're going to need it because, you know, we're going to see a very windy day, and then we're going to see some snow mixed in with it this afternoon, three or four inches, they keep saying. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and what else? You want to continue? Uh, yes, I wanted to say a little bit more about the Legacy Room. Sure. Because Julie and Pat Donahue had donated a large sum of money uh, to the Friends as a legacy fund when the building was first built and they've been adding to it every year and so we asked them if they would uh, fund the um, addition of this room and the friends did do that they paid for everything and we closed it in with glass we put heat out there we've got carpet and a little fake fireplace but it does give off some warmth sure so then for the ribbon cutting uh, we will start at five have a couple of speakers. Amy will be there from the chamber. And then we will have lots of chocolate things. Ooh, really? Oh, yes. We have several people making things. Yummy. Yes. Good for you this time of year, I think. Well, any time of year. I, chocolate kind of brightens up your spirit, I think. Oh, and got, we need it right it's now. It's <laughs> got something in it that, that does a real number on everybody. Yes, it does. Some people are allergic, but most people, hey, yeah, give me a box of chocolates for <laughs> any time of the year, right? I'm one of those. Are you? Okay. How long have you been in the White Lake area? Um, April. It will be four years now. Really? Yes. Well, congratulations. Where'd you come from? Moved from southern Indiana. Oh, really? And okay. they're getting hit hard now. Oh, yeah. They've had, uh, down through that whole corridor, they've had, uh, you know, Kentucky and you know, all. They've had ice storms and a lot of power outages. So we'll take what we get here with just, you know, windy conditions and mm -hmm. snow. And, uh, boy, it's, it's been a tough month. But we'll make it. We're tough. I keep reminding my husband that's why we moved here. Uh, snow and ice that they have down there, it's wet snow. Oh, takes yeah. down power lines, takes down trees. Sure. sure. Uh, snow up here, we go out and just blow it off. <laughs> okay. Okay. And uh, let me see. We talked about the evening story time. Did we talk about that yet? No. Okay. Um, as I said, the ribbon cutting goes from 5 to 6. Okay. Then at 6 o'clock, the friends have uh, one of their meetings. This is the kickoff meeting for the year. This is where they start planning what they're going to do for the library and for fundraisers for the coming year. Okay. What kind of fundraisers do you have? They help with the book sales. Uh, they have a room where they sell books and then they think of things to do. Uh -huh. And they go to all of the uh, events that occur during the year and set up a booth and then they sell their books down there too. Wow, that's great. We oh, really, yes. you know, we're very fortunate to have the White Lake Community Library in, in our area. Well, thank you. Uh, your mission, uh, the mission statement, the White Lake Community Library is a cultural destination, will lead to the community, to the world's information and ideas, and be a link for enrichment, entertainment, and lifelong learning. That is very, very nice. Now, you're located near the intersection of White Lake Drive and Mears Avenue in Whitehall, 
And the library issues uh, free library cards to all residents, right, living right. Uh, within the Whitehall District uh, school boundaries. And library cards are available for a small fee to those living outside the district. It's That's that right. simple. Okay. Continue. Okay. Along with <laughs> lifelong learning, at 6.30 tonight, we're going to have Jeff Albaugh from Green Home Institute uh, come in and tell us about the different options they've used in the area so far uh, for solar power. Oh. They'll explain how it works. A lot of people just think they have a solar panel up on the roof. That's it. It's not. There's a lot more involved. Oh, yeah. And, yes, it does work in Michigan. I've mm -hmm. heard a lot of people say, oh, we can't do that here. Yes, we can. Yes. And they'll explain how much it costs as well. Right. And I do. You know, I do have friends that have big, big solar panels. That's right. And it's interesting to watch the electric meter. You know, it'll go around in a certain direction. <laughs> All of a sudden, it'll stop and go reverse. Cause yes. Because they're selling power to the grid. That's, from That's the, wonderful. From their solar panels. That's I'm hoping it, someday if, well, I'm going to attend this too. I'm going to see if it's feasible for the library and hopefully at least do our lights and maybe our hot yes, water heater. Yes, I think there are grants available or something like that. I'm not sure. That's what we're going to find out tonight okay. at that meeting. Ah, there you go. All right. And at the same time, at 6.30, we have our evening story time. It's, going, it's held the second and fourth Tuesdays of each month at 6.30. She has fun stories, songs, easy crafts, and it's free. And you can join in uh, whenever you can. You don't have to sign up for that. But as you can see, we're going to have the coffee room, the legacy room, and the meeting room all busy tonight. Wow. That's wonderful. Yes. i tell you what. Can you stick around? A little? We're going we're gonna to take a little break. Okay. So you can stick around, and we'll come back and you know, talk a little more and wrap up this uh, interview. Okay. Thank you. So our guest uh, this morning is Shelly Williams from the White Lake Community Library, and we're talking about a lot of things and a lot more to come. Do not go away. It is 9.15. It's 20 degrees. The average temp up and down the coast of Lake Michigan. Our wind chill factor is 6 above. And the wind is out of the south-southwest at 24, gusting to around 34. Going to be this way throughout the day. And we're going to have some snow into the works later on this afternoon. Oh, joy. What do you think of that, Shelly Williams? Oh, I'm getting used to it. Yeah, I bet. Okay. So we have Shelly Williams on the air with us from uh, the White Lake Community Library. And uh, now Thursday morning, Thursday morning at 9 o'clock, our guest in the studio will be Linda Stenberg. And she's going to be talking about the pros and cons of reverse mortgage. She's not going to sell you anything. She's counseled a lot of people about reverse mortgage. So she'll be with us on Thursday. So back to Shelly. Yes, Hi there. Hi. <laughs> what else do you want to talk about? I, you know, this is this is a fascinating topic, and uh, you know, we're talking about the White Lake Community Library. Are we supposed to be quiet? Uh, in some areas. Oh, okay. I just... <laughs> we can't keep the children quiet, so. <laughs> okay. You you can hear them occasionally. Oh, that's all right. Um, this last year, we have been working on three grants to make more changes in the library. Mm. We got one from the White Lake Community Fund of the Community Foundation for Muskegon County, and that was to go green. With that, we bought solar shades to cover those large windows in the reading room. Oh. It helps block out uh, the heat from the sun in the summertime, and then we put them down also in the winter and help keep some of the warmth inside the building. Yikes. And once I start comparing some electric uh, utility <laughs> bills, right. we'll see how well it worked. Hmm. We also bought uh, recycle bins. We put them all around the library, and the staff are also recycling, so we cut our trash bill by 75%. Is that right? That's right. We, we have lots and lots of cardboard and paper. That's mm -hmm. our main thing. And so now we're down to just trash. Okay. And where you've got uh, a garden out on one side, and we're uh, working with a classroom who's going to be constructing rain barrels, so we're buying one of their rain barrels to collect water off the roof and water the garden with that. Mm. And then from Ronald McDonald House Charities and Ronald McDonald House Charities of Outstate Michigan, we received um, a grant from each of them to combine so that we can revamp our entire children's area. Uh, we had some computers in one room for the children and one by one they've been dying. We only have one left. Yeah, nothing like that lasts forever. And the technology, no. you know, you can buy a computer and a week later it's, uh -oh, it's out of date. Outdated. That's right. Uh, so we have uh, tablets for them, 
and with the tablets, we can get four in that space instead of the three computers. We're just working on how to attach them to the tabletop so they don't walk around with them. Uh, we also have installed a smart table. The kids are already playing with it. They figured out how to work it faster than we have. You're wondering what a smart table is? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> you take your smartphone and you turn it over like a table and you make it very large. Oh. So kids can stand up at it and then it's filled with literacy games. Oh, so they wow. have all kinds of games in there or they can just make pictures. The technology. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, the children have to learn all this and this that's is right. a wonderful opportunity. By the time they get to school, that's what they have, touch yes. screens. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, we've also purchased additional bin shelving for board books instead of a flat shelf that's a bin and it's for the board books for the little kids and so all their books face out so they can pick and choose their books instead of mom and dad having to do it oh. um, and that works the kids love that um, and we've also are purchasing some new chairs for the teens they are getting to pick their own chairs so they're in that process now Okay. And then we've added to the collection big time. Uh, we replaced all of our state collection, our, uh, most of our countries, and a lot of our biographies. And we hope to have that done before summer. All right. Then our other grant was from the Friends of the White Lake Community Library. Obviously, they gave us the money for the Legacy Room. But they also have given us some money for a boat reading nook for the children. Um, it's a small version of a boat. We're going to fill it with pillows for relaxing reading. Uh, the friends bought the supplies, but we have a very nice gentleman who volunteered to build it for us, and that's his winter project. I can't wait to see it when Is it gets there. Is that in. right? That's you right. want to mention his name? or <laughs> Not right now. Okay, that's right. Okay. Um, and then we have lots and lots of programs coming up for the children. They just finished the chess club, and so they're starting up the bedtime math crazy eights. It's a math club. Uh, they meet Mondays from 4 to 5. This went over so well last year that we had to put a waiting list. So, really? yeah, we're expecting lots of kids. Um, and that we do have to have a re to reserve a spot. Uh, family nights. Our family nights are Thursday nights uh, at 630. These are f programs for the whole family, not just the kids. And, of course, Thursday at 630. It's going to be a chocolate party. Oh, boy. Yes. I'll be there. We've been out buying chocolate. Uh, they get to play with chocolate. They yeah. learn about chocolate, and yeah. then they eat chocolate. That's wonderful. What do you do in your spare time? I, you know. <laughs> I don't have too much spare time. I hear you. <laughs> I come out here and talk to you guys. <laughs> wonderful. You're, you know, you're welcome anytime. We do interviews every Tuesday and Thursday, and you're welcome anytime. Thank you. We have the White Lake Chamber of Commerce coming on in March, and, of course, the uh, Arts Council uh, every, the first Tuesday of every month. So we're here for you folks. And now we have the White Lake Community Library on the air. That's great. I may have to uh, join in there and pick a spot. <clears throat> yes, um, you're more than welcome to. Thank you. For our, also on our family nights on March 5th, we have author historian Valerie Van Heest coming in. She's going to talk about what happened to the SS Michigan uh, when it became icebound near Holland in 1885. Oh, yeah. And she's going to tell everybody about uh, the crew's fight for survival on that frozen lake. And I didn't realize how many shipwrecks we have on this lake yeah. and how many of them are in the winter. So, <laughs> Well, I think uh, Lake Michigan right now is 56% frozen. Yes. Uh, this time last year it was like, I think, 38%. So yes. That, We're know, ahead of the game now. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. So. I don't think it warmed up much over nope. the summer. Nope. Um, then we have preschool story times on Mondays at 1030. That's for two and a half to five-year-olds. And for the teens, we do have extra programs for them, but they are spotty. They just uh, get picked yeah. occasionally, usually once a month. Yeah. I never know what's coming. Uh, but they do have open gaming every Friday after school from 2 to 4. We have a TV set up in the coffee room. We have a video games on Xbox Connect, and we also have board games. And that's also um, for parents as well as teens or adults. Anybody can come in and play. Mm. And then for adults, uh, like we don't have enough going on already. Well, yeah, it's all <laughs> we, part of the game, you know. It's, yes. It's a community thing, and you, you gotta you got to satisfy everybody, or That's try right. to anyway. Uh, we haven't done too much during the wintertime. Uh, it's too hard to get in. Yeah. So we're starting to pick up now. In March, 
on March 2nd. Now these programs are going to be usually Wednesdays, but this one's on a Monday at 630. We have Cheryl Hogel from Harbor Light Credit Union coming in to talk about fraud and identity theft protection. Whoa. And I'm so glad she's coming because every time I turn on the TV, I find out about something that's been hacked, something oh, yeah. that's been gotten into. Yeah. Uh, so she's going to show us ways to protect ourselves. And in this day and age, no one's immune from fraud or ID theft anymore. Right. Then our biggie is Carmichael Heating and Cooling Theater. Carmichael Heating and Cooling has underwritten uh, our whole year of independent and foreign films. Wow. And we hold them once a month. They're usually the second Wednesday of the month. Uh, the one coming up in March 11th is Traitors. It's Arabic, French, and English with English subtitles. And the main character is portrayed by Elizabeth Salander. And those who have seen the movie, she's the girl in the dragon tattoo. Okay. And March 18th, we're going to learn about Pinterest. Why it's so cool and how to use it. And this is going to be taught by our very own staff member, Renee. What is that? Pinterest. Oh. I haven't used it, and I haven't signed up for it, but I'm going to go watch because you go in and you pin ideas. It's like a huge website of ideas. Okay. Uh, and I know my staff are using it. And you do need to pre-register for that one. Uh, okay. You can pre-register for one of our laptops, or you can bring in your own Internet-capable device, but you will be getting on the Internet. Okay. And then rounding out March, on March 30th, the cheese lady is coming. Oh, I love her. We have limited space, so you do have to sign up. Uh, she's going to tell us about different cheeses, how yeah. they're aged, and yeah. we get to taste them. I've watched that business grow over the years. They started out, I think, at the farmer's market, you mm -hmm. know, in, in Muskegon. And right. they just, I, I think they have, what, more than one location in other states or something, as far as I know, the cheese lady. Yeah. I don't know because yeah. I haven't been able to see her. It's so crowded when they have those programs. Oh, I bet. But I'm booking my space first. Okay. And then rounding that out, we do have a book club. It's a unique book club. We meet the first Tuesday of the month at 5. But if you work and you don't get off till 5, go ahead and drop in. Uh, what we do instead of the regular thing is we pick a topic or we pick a genre. And you go pick the book you want to read in that area. Wow. So when we talk about them, we learn about lots of different books, lots of different authors. Yeah. And that's about it, it so far. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> then you've got... your. You do a lot during the summer, too, I imagine, right? Yes, we have the oh, summer yeah. reading program, and that's a biggie. Okay. Well, I think we've covered everything here for a little while. You're mighty busy, and, <laughs> man, it's uh, easy to have you on the air. You know what you're talking about, and you certainly enjoy what you're doing. That, uh, that's a wonderful thing. Oh, yes. So I think we've covered it. Thank you. Thank you, and you're welcome back anytime. And if there's anything you want us to push, just uh, make sure we get the information. Okay. And, folks, if you miss this interview, soon it will be posted to our webpage. Oscar Osbo is here today uh, recording it, and uh, that's what it's all about. So we can actually, you know, there's radio, and now we can marriage it with video on the Facebook. I think that's a wonderful thing. It's wonderful technology. Yes, it is. Just don't show me on, on the Facebook. No, I, I yeah. have a face for radio, and that's about it. Here we are. <laughs> yes, I wasn't counting on the, the uh, video there. Oh, you weren't. Well, you <laughs> yeah. look beautiful today, <laughs> even you. on this very cold, almost the end of February. So we have been talking with Shelley Williams from the White Lake Community Library, and she certainly has a full plate. How many people do you have working over there? There's 11 of us, but I'm the only full-timer. Is that right? Everybody oh. else is part-time. All right. Well, thanks for being here. Thank you. Okay. Great Memories is close as your computer.